on yourselves and go have some momentum going to the conference play. And Gardner Webb will control the opening tip. We're underway in Stegman Coliseum as the crowd continues to file in here this evening. And a quick three pointer here. That one short from Lance Terry, a Georgia native from College Park. A 40% three point shooter last year, but bro, he struggled so far this year, shooting in the 20s. Jordan Sears. Well, the point there momentarily for Gardner Webb and working underneath. And there's the Georgia defense trying to get something going. And Ludovic Dufial with a three pointer up and the whistle underneath. Noah Bauman going to get whistled for the foul there underneath. The redshirt senior from Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, Reed is really the most improved player in the Gardner Webb running Bulldogs. A nice job in that glass. The grab, the dupe out, and three being his offense rebound and stick back. Reed. Reed, a 71% free throw shooter here this season. The starting five for Georgia here this afternoon Cook, Bauman, Bridges, Wright, and Oquindo for this 5 and 7 Georgia team. Braylon Bridges gets his first basket, 68% shooter here on the season. Jordan West started that 2 3 zone, but Georgia must establish that inside game to get Bridges going in this game. He did not really get going, never got established against East Tennessee State the other night. He's been such a good player in the low post. Little three quarter court trap, Gardner Webb. This is a Georgia team that has certainly turned the ball over more than it would like, so can be pressed into some mistakes here, and I'm sure Gardner Webb. Going to try to exploit that here early. Big ball movement here by Georgia. Three pointer up from Aquindo. That one is no good. Rebounded by Bauman. Cook inside. That one knocked away there from Bridges. Tempt is that one going underneath there to Reed. And George is going to get the turnover. Oquindo underneath, lay it in and good. And that's where Oquindo's excelled this season. He, when he turns defense into offense, again, he gets on that break, gets those steals, hustles at that loose ball. That really ignites him for a big game. Cook Another turnover. Big steal. Another turnover here as Georgia will get the steal. Here's Bridges, and we got a whistle. Be an offensive foul there on Georgia as Aaron Cook gets whistled. And Georgia double downs on the post. Poor pass out. Quinto makes them pay. Did he get the chance to get the dunk, but he got out there in the open court. And Cook with the quick hands. He's getting those steals himself. Uh, what unfortunate. Georgia's going to start in the zone. We're still going to steal out of zone. Three pointer up and good from Lance Terry. He's a 30%. Three-point shooter on the season. And you know the Georgia native certainly wants to show out here tonight. You know that. You said Coach Kress got a lot of confidence in him. Such a great shooter last year, but just trying to get his rhythm and get going this season. Stop and shoot. That one will rattle around and fall in for Daytona Beach native Jordan Sears. Underneath to Bridges. And a foul there by Reed. Yeah, can't leave Terry alone. George is going to have to mark him in that zone. Make sure you find him. He you knows he's dangerous. He's got a proven history shooting at three. The old stop and pop mid range game. We don't see it a lot right there. But Sears did a beautiful job on that. Anthony Sheldon checks into the game here for Gardner Webb. That's Cook. Worked tightly there by Williams. Nearly lost the handle on it. Here's Cook for three. That one off the back iron. No good. Selden kicks it back outside this time. Three-pointer, that one no good. Couple of misses on each end here.
Short just got good ball movement here early, looking for something. And they're going a lot of east-west. They got to get some of that more inside of the bridges. Has had success with that so far. Kick it outside to Cook, and that one is blocked by Terry. And that one rolls off the iron, no good. Great block there. Three-pointer, that one I think got a piece of it in his block, but a good follow-through there by Braylon Bridges. Georgia's caught it down to a two-point lead here. But not for long as Jordan Sears, a three-pointer. He has come out on fire tonight. Banging in two in a row there. Again, it's going to be interesting tempo of this game. We talked about in the pregame. With the zone offenses, they have to go to work here against zone defenses. Bridges get the ball in the handles. What Georgia has to do to exploit that zone. Breaking through there that time. Is Georgia within three here? There's the hot shooting Sears driving the lane. And he'll float that one up and good. Already has his average. Yeah, that didn't take long <laughs> at all. He's a 39% shooter on the season. Boy, he's been hot here so far. Three pointer outside for Georgia's short. And falling down there, Zion Williams. Another three point look that time off the back iron. Bauman comes down with the rebound. Georgia looking to settle in here. Bauman avoids the block. That one rolls in and out. Gardner Webb has not been afraid to shoot the three pointer here so far this evening. Georgia's a man to man off the miss of the other end. Joel penetration has been a thorn on the side of Georgia's defense this season. Shoulder down there on Anthony Sheldon is the contact to work. He'll drive to the basket. And you can see a lot of that Gardner Webb tonight just trying to get to the hole. They're not known for free throw line a lot this season. But the point of emphasis for Coach Kraft. Cook looking for something there in the lane, turning and shooting his bridges. That one bounces short. Another Gardner Webb rebound underneath to Terry. Got the basket and the free throw here as we get our first half back underway and Georgia finds itself down 10 here and yet to reach double figures nearly seven minutes into the game. With Bridges out of the game. Gardner Webb goes man to man's position out of the timeout. Give him a little different look. See how Georgia responds, as you mentioned, had some struggles there with that zone earlier. In the George Mason game, East Tennessee State games, Georgia was quickly down eight, ten points early in the games, and they really had to fight their way back, get competitive, and take the leads later. So tonight, I guess, there's another sign of that. They've got to get going here offensively. Cook bounce pass underneath. Beautiful and boy, a point blank look there for Cam McDowell. And couldn't get that one to fall. And McDowell hasn't got much opportunity this season. This might be his first minutes of the year now for him. So coming here with a great look, great chance. Just missed that first leg. Just got to settle down. Show the nerves a little, a little strong there for him. But he's got a bright future. Freshman from Powder Springs and Keechern High School product. Going to Webb's got their freshman point guard tomorrow in the game. Coach Kraft was telling me before the game, he's really, the, the one problem they've had is some struggles at the point guard position. So Zion William, um, Williams has actually had a play. He's a four man, but it, they've been playing him at point guard to start games to try to get them off to a good start. A seasoned guy, veteran guy, but tomorrow's got a bright future. They're really high on him. Smarrow out of the Bronx. Puts a three-pointer up. That one contested and short. Georgia's going to come down with the rebound. Georgia bench wanted a whistle. Here's Cook. Okay, we haven't seen the leading scorer for Gardner-Webb. Morian Williams, nothing was said to us about him 
been unavailable tonight. We have yet to see him. No, he did not start tonight as that one goes up and in for Georgia. And Aaron Cook putting it in. Yeah, Aaron Cook's got a great in and out move. Uses it right there, gets to the hole with eyes up. He's always looking, thinking assist if he can't finish. Always has eyes up. Really good floor general out there. That's kind of attack the rim moments Georgia needs right now. Selden here for three. That one rolls off and no good. And Georgia with another rebound. As your free of Durahim comes down with it. Yeah, it's man to man defense. Bridges is out. So again, the perimeter players are going to have to look, think about getting the ball to the hole, trying to draw fouls and attacking that rim. Cook with a little step back there. Diving for the floor, coming up with it. Yeah, Kareem Reed, well, he's really a nice player. He's a nice post move down there. Went up strong over McMillan to finish. Three pointer, that one rattles in for Noah Bauman. That was a much needed possession by Georgia right there. Be patient. Find a guy who's had a hot hand the last couple games. That one's been on fire. Try to work it. Be patient. Knocks it down. Cam McDowell with the defensive pressure there. It was a miss initially by Sears, but the put back there. And a good second chance basket for Gardner Webb. Right, good ball movement there underneath as Christian Wright. Yeah, Wright and Cook are starting to see, realize they can get some with some patience, get through the seams in that Gardner Webb defense. Great job by Christian Wright. And Georgia has a player fall down, and Kareem Reed able to take advantage and get the basket. Green barking instructions over there from the bench in the lane and contact. And that one is Cam McDowell going to the basket. There's Tom Green. Coach Green's really working hard every game, trying to you know, meld this team, trying to get them up to speed with all the injuries they've had and different lineups and guys sick on different nights. Jackson Hitter being out tonight, there's another adjustment you've got to make. But it's an opportunity for McDowell. Dell comes in, hasn't played yet this year. Nice drive right there. And he's got a lot of the talent. Had a very successful high school career. He just needs minutes now, an opportunity. And, and in the case of you know guys being hurt, you've got you step in, you got to play. You gotta, right. gotta step up big time. That's why you have those all those extra guys, and guys want their opportunity. It's unfortunate you hate when guys get hurt, especially season ending injuries. The next guy up, mentality is what you have to have. And, and as a coach instead, you got to figure out a way to, hey, what lineup works well together, who looks good, who's playing, who's going to get an opportunity tonight that haven't gotten one yet. Saw Jackson Etter at the end of the Georgia bench there. Back spasms tonight, keeping him out of the lineup. Three-pointer, that one rattles in for Jabri Abdul-Rahim. Yeah, really nice job. A little miscommunication by the Gardner Web perimeter defense right there, but Abdul-Rahim has really played well the last couple weeks. There's a little miscommunication there by Georgia defensively, and Gardner Webb answers back. It all evens out, right? Beautiful ball underneath there, and there's in communicating. He's opened up again. Hottest guy on the floor. You got to find him and mark him. Some man Georgia's got to take the challenge to guard him. Four for six from the floor. Two for four from three. And there he is with the ball again. A little jumper will find its way into the bottom of the basket. Yeah, Georgia went zone that time. Again, a little pick action. There's a little simple stuff. Gardner Webb was ready for and got their hot hand. Sears free. And he's all scorers here with 12 points. Dale original into the game now for Georgia. His first appearance here out of the timeout. Left-handed hook shot. No good there by Bridges and Aquindo will be fouled going back up with it. Anthony Selvin, that's his first. Gardner Webb's third. 
Wendell's got to get himself into the game a little bit. We talked about he's so good in the open court, but again, the more offensive rebounds he can get, the more steals he can get, get that transition, just anything that jump starts him can kind of get his jump shot going a little bit, but he needs to get those hustle buckets right now. This is both of the free throws. Georgia came in here. Pretty good free throw shooting team on the season. Has only made one of four here so far. And a block there by Georgia, and there's going to be a contact whistle there. Football cameraman's okay there on the baseline. Got a little run into. High contact coming at you. The Gardner Webb again, Coach Kraft really felt like they have not been to the free throw line as much as they should. Not really been attacking the rim and selling for jump shots a lot for their 12 games so far. So you see tonight, Lance Terry especially, being very aggressive to the rim, pump faking those three point shots and trying to get some contact into the rim. Terry makes both of the free throws. Gardner Webb's going back to that zone. Gardner Webb back up by 12 now. Underneath this one knocked away. Gardner Webb will come back down with it. Here's Terry going to the basket two on one. And no whistle there. <laughs> Play on. Terry does a great job, good defense. Christian right over penetrated right there. We have nobody to go to, already up in the air. And great job by Terry, but no call. Out of bounds, 27 seconds to go on the shot clock. Those kind of turnovers, live ball turnovers have really hurt Georgia this season. The other team just go down and convert on them. Bounds underneath, 27 on the shot clock here for Gardner-Webb. And that one off the glass and in by Ludovic Dufiel. Dufiel's first basket of the contest. And Jordan Sears is going to get whistled for the foul there for Gardner Webb, his first. This is what Quindo's got to do. He's got to attack that rim. He's got to try to get these high percentage shots, get himself to the free throw line. He has a chance in this game to put up big numbers. Attempted to get that one knocked away. Couldn't do it. As Braylon Bridges gets it up and in. He does such a good job getting deep down the post. But when you get that ball deep in the post like he does, it's hard to send a second man down to double him. Just not enough time. It's too far. And Bridges really takes advantage of that. Can go right hand, left hand. Oh, beautiful cut there underneath as Zion Williams. Cook for three. That one up and no good. And last touch by Georgia. A good mid-post entry against the zone. Quindo turns his head and Gardner Webb, man, they like that in the film session. Williams with a nice backdoor cut. Could be helping a nice job finding him right there. Cam McDowell back in the game here for Georgia. Gardner Webb works it back inside. Couldn't get that one to roll in. with 13 on the shot clock here looking for something Bauman has this one knocked away as he turned his head to look back the opposite direction and a right-handed dunk from Zion. 
Webb hasn't won a road game all season, but playing really well here. And Stegman Coliseum so far tonight. They've had a couple heartbreaking losses, I feel like, on the road this season. Two buzzer beating losses and a game against Wofford that went right to the final minute before they lost by five or six. And a shot clock violation there on Georgia. Tom Cream just a little exasperated over there on the bench. Play that 2 3 zone. The runner just needs to be patient against it. He's got the lead. You want to get a high percentage shot against it. Turn and shoot there in the paint. Rebounded by Georgia and original. There's Bauman for three. Put it in and a foul. Could that be the spark Georgia needed? Uh, great action, getting him down the floor. Williams hasn't made too many mistakes tonight. He's really played a hot, good game, but defensively, don't foul the jump shooter. Cook knew Bauman was trailing him right there, and Bauman again has been a, really shooting the ball well here the last couple of games. And they've got to get him going. Those threes get you back in the game in a hurry. Absolutely, Georgia shooting 30% from three. It was just good to see Bauman play, and he really got to a slow start just well, because he just wasn't healthy, feeling great. But he's a really good basketball player. He's a leader, been rebounding basketball, trying to take everything on he possibly can to help his team win. He's got seven points now here tonight, second leading scorer for Georgia. Garner Webb trying to break through that zone and ends up coughing it up. Back outside to Cook. Cook for three. Several red jerseys there for the rebound. Seldon down there on Abdul Rahim. Outside to Sears. Short. Sears gets his own rebound. Goes to the basket. Back outside. Here's another three point look. That one up and good for Anthony Seldon. Really smart play by Sears. Get the first look. Got the ball. Deep penetration, not, no, don't challenge Bridges down there. Kick it back out, find your big, really good execution. Gardner Webb has seven or eight guys, all have double digit assists on the year. Very good passing basketball team, unselfish team, high character guys that like each other. They're really playing good team basketball. Right now, Auburn, Tennessee, LSU, Kentucky, Bama. Bama was off to a good start, lost a couple of games lately. They go up, find themselves, got a really good coach. But again, another really strong league in the SEC this year. I can't wait to watch. Tennessee, really good again, kind of rounding into form. Yeah, Rick Barnes did such a great job up there. Got a good, good team. The last five minutes of the first half, first five seconds, have really tell a lot about the basketball game. The Georgia's got to make a little run here before the half, but that's not one way to do it. No, too Anthony easy. Selden. Way too easy. Selden with seven points now. And it's a 15-point lead here for Gardner-Webb. I don't imagine Georgia thought it would find itself down 15 at any point in this ball game here, but they have trailed from the get-go here today. Georgia has yet to lead or even be tied since the opening tip. Inside to Samaro there. Samaro again. Youngster kicks it back to Sears. Seldon kind of a shot put attempt there in the lane. Yeah, a little more time to turn and square up. Bridges really haven't come out and challenged him very early in that. Bridges, that one rolling up off the iron. And a whistle underneath there on Georgia. Abdul Rahim comes out of the game. As Quindo comes in for Georgia. And like Aaron Cook, he's going down court, apply a little more pressure again. He's a veteran. He's played a lot of college basketball in 30 games. Rare in this day and age. And and he knows he's got to look this team. They're down 15, but he's got to be the guy that they're looking to. The young guys are in that back line. Look, they can 
Gonzaga transfer for Georgia. One of several new faces into the program here this season. Cook the turnover there in the lane. Under 90 seconds to go here in the first half. And the last goal possession is smart by Gardner Webb. Make Georgia stay on defense for 20, 25 seconds and try to get a high percentage shot from there. Deep well, three there. That one I spoke, well. spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> the freshman didn't want to really hear that. <laughs> Made to throw one up there, and that's going to be an offensive foul. There's Gary Oquindo there. Yeah, Quinn again, him and Cook last year, just trying to make something. These guys are they're down, they're trying to get some spark, something to go. And again, Cook forced it and got the turnover. Quindo, again, just didn't read the defense at all, just forced the action, got the charge right there. And just not to play again. I, their intent is good to try to get them going, doing something special, but you got to be smart. And both of them right there, tough back to back possessions. So under a minute to play here could be Garner Webb's final possession of the first half. It's been an impressive first half here for the running Bulldogs. Sears. And whistle there. And offensive foul. Uh, six turnovers. turnovers there, excuse me. Yeah, six turnovers for Garner Webb, nine for Georgia. Again, big possession here. Just want to get a bucket. Just get as close as you can get before the half goes out. Trying to burn a little time off, but good defensive pressure here by Gardner Webb. That zone keeps collapsing in. Yeah. Antenna not getting split there, no any penetration. Cook's gonna have to throw one up at the shot clock, and that one rims off the back end. George comes down with the offensive rebound. Bridges spinning in the lane, puts that one in. That'll do it for the first. It point. really does. And we thought when George has made those turnovers, I mean, live ball turnovers, and Gardner Webb has capitalized on them down the floor. So Gardner Webb will have possession here as we open our second half. Georgia finds itself trailing 13 points. And a quick three pointer. That one is up and good as Demarion Williams, a sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. He must have had some kind of <laughs> penalty. <laughs> uh, something happened. He didn't play the first half, but boy, he's their leading scorer and outstanding player. Yeah, we were commenting earlier, not seeing him earlier, but in here to start the second half, and Noah Bauman answers back for Georgia. A little pressure here from Cook. Another basket on the other end here for Gardner Webb. And Reed really had to sit for a lot of minutes with that second foul. He comes right in, scores. George is going to keep possession here with contact there on the opposite end. And Gardner Webb was able to collapse on Bridges that time. Three-pointer from Georgia, that one up. And from Oquindo, no good. Doofy out over there. He's going to go right side, drive to the basket. And that one gets knocked away by Georgia, coming back down with Oquindo. Bauman to Cook. Tom Crean fired up trying to get some offense going here earlier. They traded shots here to get this second half going. Bridges in the lane. Nice ball control there. Into traffic that time and able to put it in. A little contact there. Pushing him out of the lane. Ball gets. Wild there, and George is going to get another possession. 
Again, good pressure by Georgia, double team. Do something to stir it up, get Gardner Webb out of sync, out of rhythm. And right there, great job by Bridges on that block shot. Good weak side help. Because Georgia needs to do so. The only way they're going to get back in this game, take this lead back, is to their defense. To the basket, some contact. Oquendo. He has been hot to get this second half started. A couple of baskets for him. Georgia back within 12 here. A charge there on Garner Webb. And Quindo does so well. He gets that hole. He take a blow, still finish. And he tried to force a couple things in the first half that time. Let the action come to himself. Saw the scene develop. Was able to penetrate all the way to the hole. George driving into the corner there. Working this zone, a Quindo floater in the lane. That one's good. Three baskets here in the last three and a half minutes. Georgia within 10. Georgia on a 6 0 run over its last minute. And another missed three here by Gardner Webb. Bridges will get fouled. And that one's going to be on Dufiel. And then Coach Kraft's going to be having his big man in and out of the lineup here a little bit because the other two fouls, Kareem Reed, is going to get the third. And but Georgia's going to attack that spot. And again, Bridges is just a really good low post player. Had size and weight on Dufial. He was able to get position and draw that foul. It has been a tough night from the free throw line for Georgia. Shooting under 60%. He just makes one of two. And good effort here. The first five minutes, second half. Georgia coming down. Got to always cut down to nine. First time Georgia's been within single digits in a long time here tonight. Stepping out there on the baseline is Lance Terry. Eight points for the College Park native. That's the third turnover that's been forced by Georgia so far. Again, that's how they're going to get back in this best. We're getting those stops, creating turnovers. And good decisions here offensively. Getting the guy to, oh, that guy right there. Georgia's now on a 9 0 run. Great pick and roll action right there between Wright and Bridges. Long three pointer. That one is good. That's a good way to get a little momentum going back your way. Damari and Williams. Gordon Webb built that big lead in the first half without their best player, without their lead scorer, but he's come back in, got five points already this half. Averages. Six, I'm sorry, six points. Averages 14 and a half, so making up for a long. Again, he's got a good stroke. Everything was good. His issue on the free throw line is typically not enough arc. A little flat. He gets arc on right there. He knocks him down. So Georgia within eight. Closest that the dogs have been since probably the early portions of this game. Knocked away. Battle for the ball. Garner Webb comes back up with it. Georgia's going to apply some pressure here as Williams tries to get out of it. Back over to the far side there with Selden. And a three-pointer up. That one short from Williams. Offensive board here as Gardner Webb throws it back up, misses again. That time from Reed. Well, Reed fought so hard for that offensive rebound. He needed to kick it back out, though. He didn't. Bridges was solid on him, bodied, bodied up. 
Quindo with the three. That one's no good. Wright comes down with a rebound for Georgia. Here's a three-pointer from Bauman. That one's no good. Couple of looks here for Georgia. Yeah, two really nice looks. Again, Christian Wright fought really hard for that rebound. At his end, and got the man he wanted for the three. Bauman just couldn't knock it down. Selden Williams bring it down. Here's the big man in the lane up against Bridges here for Georgia. With this zone, somebody's open. Here's Reed in the lane. That one no good. Window thought about it, gets it back over to Cook. things to develop here five on the shot clock bridges has it taken away Georgia wanted to travel Selden all the way and whistle on the other end there for against Georgia and it'll be a goal tending call Selden did a really nice job didn't force the action didn't charge bound Bowman really wanted to get that charge down there great read window should let that one go but Ooh, does he have some hops? He was yeah. sky high that one. Top of the backboard, but an easy call for the officials. Back to a 10 point lead here as the run Bulldogs apply a little pressure in the backcourt there that time on the trip up. Right. Left hook. That one no good. Gardner Webb trying to run with it, couldn't come up with it. Georgia turns it back over, and now a jump ball and possession arrow. We'll give it back to Georgia. Good hustle, guys, getting down on the floor right there. A little sloppy transition. Like Garner Will's about to have numbers, like a three on one break. Just going to handle again. This is what Coach Kraft thought also about just not having that true point guard right now that he has confidence in. Small looks like going to be a very good player, the freshman. Just not there yet. So really trying to play without a true point guard on the floor. Back to the 2 3 zone. George has been a little befuddled by that at times here tonight. Here's a long range jumper. That one up in no good that time from Aaron Cook. Or Sears. He was the big man in the first half. And wave off the shot. And that'll be a foul on Georgia and Tyron McMillan. You see Gardner Webb, Coach Kraft is trying to get the ball in to read this half, trying to get him going. If that's the second time they run an isolation play for him, a one-on-one -on -one dribble, like he can attack the Georgia big men right there. But again, he, Bridges doesn't have any fouls yet. He's out of the game at the moment, getting some rest. But Reed's got to draw some fouls down in there. Goofy out there up top. Into the game now for Gardner Webb. Connor Webb lulling Georgia in, getting that zone to collapse a little bit. Floater in the lane, Lance Cherry, that one's good. College Parks, pride and joy right there with the floater. Georgia trying to answer back on the other end. The offense has went cold here. Gordon Webb going to create a two-man game with Kareem Reeves. Georgia decides to double down on him. They're going to try to make him pay, overload the backside. Georgia had been hot to start the second half, having scored in over three minutes. And 0 for its last six trips down, make it 0 for its last seven. And a whistle, I think, that one on McMillan. McMillan picks up his second foul. A quick one there, and McMillan will have to come out as Josh Taylor makes an appearance here for Georgia. And Josh here again, Coach Green is just trying to find somebody to come in that can spark them, bring some effort, some energy to the team. Josh Taylor, again, has played well in the limited minutes he's had this season. We're going to see if he can contribute to a Bulldog comeback here.
Bridges career and season high 24 points against Cincinnati as Zion Williams out of the timeout. A great baseline out of bounds play by Gardner Webb. Good answer there by Christian Wright. The freshman got the start here this afternoon. Four points for the freshman from Alpharetta. A little sucker play right there out of bounds. Hard to prepare for those. Trying to win Christian right again. Good hesitate and go. Didn't over penetrate that time. Did that little runner, little floater. Drive to the lane and a hard foul there as Lance Terry went to the floor. And that'll be Jabri Abdul Rahim fouling there for Georgia. Be her second. And that's the third or fourth time in this game. As soon as the door Raheem's come in the game, Garner Webb set up an isolation play to really move the ball and try to drive him right away. Just get him off his feet and see if they can take him to the hole. Terry making the first. He is five for five from the free throw line tonight. A 14 point lead now for the running Bulldogs. Georgia's going to need another big run, probably two here, to really get back in this game. But outside of that little quiet spell to start the second half, Gardner Webb's not been quiet offensively at any point. And Gardner Webb's had a good balanced attack, multiple guys scoring baskets, making plays. Williams back in the game. And a 2 3 zone just makes Georgia slow down, take time off the clock, possessions. This sets up well for Gardner Webb. They're a very unselfish team and share that ball easily. Probably very content to run some time off the clock. They really will be. You know, they're smart. You know, they're not really a true veteran team yet, but they got a couple guys been in Coach Kraft's program. And you don't want you want to keep have the mental state that hey, we want to we're up 14, we want to win this game by 20 or plus. You don't want to lose that edge, but at the same time, you got to be smart. You don't want to take rush bad shots. Feel greedy out there. Off the mark shot there that time. That one tipped. Stepped out of bounds. Going to tip there to original and original stepping out there on the baseline. So Georgia finds itself down 14 points. Yeah, good cut there. Underneath by Zion Williams, the grad transfer from Missouri, Kansas City. And he's really a good basketball player, smart, savvy, and not a natural. He started the season starting at power forward. And the last couple of games, Coach Chad has asked him to play point guard. Just how versatile he is, what a good leader he is, and what a great read that possession. He just did a nice job, used his moves, saw the court, got his crease that he wanted. He has had a major impact on this basketball game. Running away with three guys in double figures ready. Looks like two more about to get there next their next basket. Really close. Yeah, it's been a balanced attack. Lots of guys scoring here this evening. Scoring in the paint. They've scored from outside. Georgia will throw a three pointer up. That one's long and off the outside arc. Original that time. Running away back to the two three. They had a little different zone that last time. Just again, just to throw Georgia out of the rhythm. Make them recognize. Short off the iron there for Georgia. Garner Webb will run down and definitely tell not in a rush here this time. Going to hold Georgia into a foul there and burn some time off the clock. And Jabri Abdul Rahim whistled for the foul. And 
That'll be his third. Darnell Webb's going to be in the bonus here the rest of the night. And you're predicting that lead. That's another advantage you have. Quick pass there that time from Reed. Drive to the lane by Williams. What a game that young man is having tonight. Average 5.6 points. And now with 12, which ties him for the lead of all scorers. Yeah, here's Williams again, just getting it done tonight. So many different ways. So savvy. Got original on his heels. Takes it in there and scores. He has had a excellent complete game tonight he's got to finish it out here the last nine minutes of the game that line for georgia christian wright you know when our old coach of me comes out one of the first things i look at is assist to turnover ratio and look at the stat sheet and Gardner Webb has six of their players have positive assist to turn a race. That's winning basketball. Yeah. And there's so many things. You go to the Georgia lineup, and you're just seeing maybe two kids with a positive assist to turn a ratio. So that needs to be cleaned up by the dogs. But for the running Bulldogs, that is something they can hang their hat on as they go into conference play. It's going to really bode well for them. Again, we said, mentioned, you mentioned earlier, they hadn't won a road game yet this season. This one's still far from over, but they're on their way to it right now. Gardner Webb's been a streaky team this season. Opened the season with three straight losses, then won four straight, then lost five straight, and are coming off a 79 46 victory on the 17th against Converse. Georgia was three and two in the month of December coming into tonight. Cam McDowell on the foul there for Georgia. Yeah, Sears did a nice job again. Saw the crease there. No weak side help came to late. He, he actually went to the side of the rim where the defender was to draw that foul. Jordan Sears. Making the first of the free throws there with 13 points. Now we've really bragged on him tonight. And how well he has played. It's hard to find every single Gardner Webb kid has played tonight has really made a contribution to this 19-point yep. lead they have with 8.35 to go. Georgia's missing Edder. Ed, Jackson Edder really brings so much to the table and hustle and leadership. And they're, they're obviously missing him tonight, but you got to find it. Somewhere, somewhere along the way, somebody's has some pride to win that G in their chest. And they've got to get here and make a valiant effort here the last eight minutes of the game. And that one gets air mailed out, and Gardner Webb will... Take over possession with 818. There is Jackson Netter out tonight with back spasms. And then to get him back, he brings so many things to the table. And a hard foul there from Jabri Abdul Rahim. And great read right there by Terry. So he gets to the rim. He wanted that dunk. He wanted that crush. <laughs> he was going to let him, but on the follow through, got him again. But all night long, they've been really attacking the rim. And getting, you know, not selling for threes all night. You know, they're getting it done the old fashioned way. Getting themselves to the line. One of the things we talked about them as a team improving the conference play. Bernard Webb just really doesn't shoot a lot of free throws. But you're watching them tonight, you're like, why? Why wouldn't they? They've got a guy who's multiple players. Can, Get to the rim. They got a good inside-outside game. There's no reason why they shouldn't be at the free throw line a lot. Terry back at the line. He'll make both of those. He is perfect from the free throw stripe tonight. And as a team, Garner Webb shooting 100%. Twenty one point lead here for Gardner Webb. And a block underneath there. No post problems for those 
Big South teams, they are so balanced. Are you preparing a scouting report for them? You can have your hands full on how to shut them down and get them out of their rhythm. That's Williams again. Again, a tough, hard rebound. He went after that one in traffic. Hot burning mode in effect now for Gardner Webb. And out there on the baseline, George will get a possession here. Gardner Webb gone a long time without a turnover. There was three quick ones to start the half. Georgia got back to down in eight points. But since then, Gardner Webb settled down. In a little different zone here 1 3 1. And showing the 2 3. Just you know, keep, keep Georgia off balance, get them out of rhythm. A lot of bodies flying all over the place there for Gardner Webb as Heron Cook goes to the basket. Again, Rick Reed, you normally don't get a chance to go from about 25 feet out and drive all the way in against the zone. But Cook read it, did a nice job. There's Williams with 10 on the shot clock. Find some space in the lane, fighting for his own rebound. And he'll pick up the foul. And Cook way out. 1-3-1 one, one zone just got a little busted right there. Cook took it to the rack. And do a foul, didn't want a foul right there. Good smart play. Let him have the two. You're up 19 points. At that time, would have been up 21 points. Just let him go. Let him have it. Shooter in the lane. That one is good. As Noah Bauman puts one in the basket there, he'll be in double figures now. In good zone offense. Put one of your scorers, one of your shooters in the in the high post area against the zone defense. And try to see if they can operate from there, either with good passes or good shots. Bauman did a nice job. Long three-pointer up and good from Damarian Williams. And he's been one of the guys, Coach Crathor, that's just been feast or famine for him. He's had some big games where he has shot lights out and other games where he can't find the, the rim. And Williams three. Yeah, good ball move by Garner Webb. Get it from one side of the floor to the next. Run some possession. And Georgia just can't lose him like that. Let him have so much space. Has only played the second half and got nine points here. Yeah, third three, right? Three for three. No, I thought Cook passed it. I thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. And they gave him two. Williams and Goofy Al come out of the game here for Gardner Webb. Another thing, Gardner Webb's played a lot of guys tonight. They've got some pretty good depth over there. Yeah, when preparing for the game, look like they're going to have nine, ten guys play meaningful minutes in the game. And really nice balanced team. Got good inside out. You know, looks like they may have some true point guard issues. They're going to have to work through and develop. Going to the basket there, Kareem Reed. But I think as the season progresses, you're going to see a lot of two-man basketball with Williams and Reed on one side of the floor and big south play. And drive all the way, try to cross it back to the middle, and just got hung up in traffic with the turnover. Georgia applying some pressure, driving to the basket. That time, Selden. Georgia just trying to get a little bit of momentum here late. Trailing by 19, with four to go. And a kickball situation here again. Georgia maintain possession as Zion Williams comes back into the game. And what's tough right here, Caleb, you know, at this point, you're about, you have to have about 10 straight possessions go right for you. 
and none for Gardner Webb to get back in this game. That zone defense that Irma was playing just takes time to attack. So it's hard to get quick hitters against it. They're just trying to drive and get into the hole as quick as they can. But it's just going to be a long haul to get back. To be getting a win, a plus 10 possessions here down the stretch. Gardner Webb has never defeated Georgia in four previous matchups. She'll be looking for another Power 5 victory here tonight in its first road victory of the season. Coach Kraft's had several Power 5 wins. Playing up in Bowling Springs, North Carolina. I did many years when I was at Mercer. That's a tough place to play when you play the running Bulldogs at home. NCAA tournament appearance two seasons ago for Gardner-Webb as both of those free throws from Dufial are in and good. It's back to a 21-point lead here with under four to play. 11 for 11 from the free throw line running Bulldogs tonight. Underneath to Tyrone Baker into the ball game now for Georgia. Baker, a freshman from Fort Myers, Florida. Getting his first minutes of the game. Bauman hits the deck there for Georgia. Williams, long three, that one off the mark. And Georgia going to push here. Boy, just a lot of point blank opportunities Georgia hadn't been able to convert here tonight. Yeah, Baker's a springy kid. I've liked him, watched him practice a few times. He's got a bright future as well. Just couldn't convert both of those point blank shots. Effort was there, trying to get to it. And I think he's going to get to a his body develops and get some more time, more minutes. He's got a bright future. Yeah, he still looks like a, a freshman for sure. Illegal screen here, trying to get Williams in the double figures here. Got stuck at that nine points. Uh, this is a special moment for Coach Crab. He's had already had five Power Five wins in his career at Gardner Webb. Won some really good places, but again, when you're in the Big South and you're at Gardner Webb, you get a chance to play an SEC school in your home floor, and, and you put it on them. Boy, that's a special feeling. That'll be a fun locker room tonight and a great bus ride home to Bowling Springs. Three-pointer, that one off the mark there for Georgia. Georgia shooting 16% from three here tonight. Guarded tightly there he is Sears. He's got Christian Wright all over him. Gardner-Webb content to try to just run some clock off here. Step back, now the drive. Abdul Rahim comes down with the rebound here for Georgia. Bulldogs trying to get some more points here. Ball fake from Oquindo. Bauman underneath to Tyrone Baker, his first basket of the game, and he's fouled. Good pass by Bauman, but good for Baker. He's played hard as he come in. He's had those two shots he just missed, couldn't get to go down, but man, in traffic with the foul on the arm. He'll remember that for a long time. And frustration there from Jufial giving up the foul, a competitor. That's right. Well, Baker's first basket as a Georgia Bulldog. Hope the first of many for the young man. Again, he liked his effort, liked, liked his skill set. He just got to stay with it, listen to his coaches, and just continue to get better. Rims in and out there on the end one. Specker in the scorebook here with the basket. Three pointer, that one long. Whistle underneath, and we'll have a foul. Well, it's going to be on Anthony Sheldon. That'll 
It'll be his third here with a minute to play. And Cario Oquindo will go to the free throw line. Came in here averaging 62% on his free throw shots. He's 0 for 2 here so far tonight. Gets the first of the two. We'll make them both. He'll go two for four here from the line tonight. Say 17 point lead here for Gardner Webb. As the running Bulldogs looking to run the clock out here. Gardner Webb about to pick up its first road victory of the season and move to six and seven on the year. It's sixth power five victory under Coach Kraft. As Williams goes to the basket there for Gardner Webb. Georgia, meanwhile, will be five and eight entering SEC play. And the first victory in the series here for Gardner Webb. Georgia had won the previous four meetings. And like you said, be a very happy locker room. There's no doubt about it. Just, uh, I've got one of my former players, Andrew Brown, over there. I know he's happy. Associate head coach Jimmy Luther, my longtime assistant coach at Mercer. There are going to be some happy guys. You know, when you're on that bus, that almost three-hour ride back, well, it's, a, it's a good feeling. You can eat, be smiling. Heckling the Gardner Webb Ooh. bench a little bit. Quindo makes both of his free throws. For you, they're supposed to be back. It's tough. And you lose multiple of them. That's, That's certainly right. going to be a problem. So Georgia with some work to do here as SEC play will come calling here when the calendar flips over to 2022. As Gardner Webb looking to run the clock out here tonight. And a handful of Gardner Webb supporters there behind the bench. 